again, I'm MLF reporter Allie Akers, and this is Inside Access. Right now, I am here with one of the founders, Major League Fishing, Gary Klein. How are you? Well, thank you. I'm pretty excited to be here. So like I just mentioned, you are one of the creators of Major League Fishing, and now we are sitting here in Nacogdoches, Texas at the inaugural MLF World Championships. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. How surreal is that? What's going through your mind? Well, I, you know, again, everything in this world starts with a thought. <clears throat> and this thought was several years ago when Boyd and I were actually talking about it. And to actually nurture it and watch it achieve our goals and continue to grow and all the legs coming off of it is absolutely phenomenal. What inspired you to come up with this format? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, you know, every angler looks at a legacy. And, you know, I've been a competitive angler all my life. Uh, I started when I was a sophomore in high school. And I graduated high school and basically came out on the BASF circuit. And I've lived my life on the road in competitive angling. But I've always wanted to take it to the next level. Because in my opinion, I don't think that bass fishing, true competitive bass fishing, had ever been recognized as a sport. It's a bunch of guys, you know, it's a hobby, glorified hobby, and everybody goes out and plays it. But my vision is I wanted to see bass fishing recognized as a sport. And that's what made it the, the thing really cool is that when Boyd and I first got together, bouncing ideas, I just listened to Boyd talk. And it took me a long time to really grasp what it was he was trying to say. I, I, I didn't have the ability to look at the big picture or a bigger picture because I was so conditioned to, you know, what, what I've been involved in all my life. But once I really started understanding, then the doors just started opening up. My mind started working 100 miles an hour. You know, again, I want to see Major League Fishing create a sport out of angling. And it's just like in football, I always say, you know, you play on a 100-yard field, whether you're high school or NFL. That's what I want to see with Major League Fishing. Our format is the best. The competition is, uh, you, there's nothing even that compares to competing with our format, with our rules. It's phenomenal. So I'd like to see that carried all across the country and it become the norm. It's the way everybody competes. Why catch and release? Why you can't catch the fish two times you know, that day? Why are, why are those rules so important in this format and ones that you wanted to create? Well, you know, first let me just say that, that in developing Major League Fishing, I had no idea where it was going to go. We had no idea if it was even going to be accepted uh, by our fan base, by a, a growing audience. But one thing that we knew for sure is that we didn't want to create a TV show, a fishing show. We had no interest in that. We wanted to create a sport. But in doing that, I've always felt that we wanted, I wanted to create the purest form of one-on-one -on -one heads up competition that we know how to do. And we've done that with our format. No information, no knowledge. You, everything that we've done, it seems like we implement something and it's successful and the more people want it. So we, you know, it's just growing leaps and bounds right now. How cool is it that the first ever world championship is here in your home state of Texas? Yeah, it really is. But to be honest with you, when I found out that it was Nacogdoches, Texas, I never fished anything around here. I mean, San Rayburn and Toledo Bend, but I'm thinking, wow, you know, this is going to be cool to give me an opportunity to come here and fish in East Texas. So these shows are airing on CBS Network for six Saturdays straight. And I mean, it's a series. People are going to want to come back and watch and see who's going to be eliminated and who's going to yeah. win the world championship. Looking back several, several years ago to you and Boyd sitting in that <laughs> hotel room, just kind of dreaming of this concept and this format, what's it like looking back then until now? In the very first event, nobody had ever competed under that format. And you know, I created the format and, and I made sure that I was in the first group of elimination at, at Amstead, at our very first event, because I wanted to experience it. And all I could think of was, wow so intense, so gut-wrenching because the real-time leaderboard, you knew where you stood the whole time. You were trying to make the top four, we were fishing a field of eight, to advance. And I mean, it was gut-wrenching, but the lead changed so many times during the course of the day, and then all of a sudden, you know, now you're, everybody's trying to qualify in the top four. So there was a lot of moving parts of that day of competition. That day, when, when my competition was over with, it was wild we have something. What's the significance of MLF being aired on CBS? Well, for us, it's it's the direction that we've always wanted to go uh, because we have an awesome partnership with the Outdoor Channel. I mean, the folks there are behind us 100%. They're also very enthusiastic because they've created a new product. So, you know, so we're actually creating this sport, but they understand too that we want to go beyond 
our fan base and we want to get more fans involved and obviously network television is a direction for us to go. So the support of our partners, we're headed in the right direction and to have it on CBS, that's the true test. Can we make Major League Fishing the norm for competitive bass angling? And, and I hear it from people across the country, every boat show, every seminar I go to, everybody wants to talk about Major League Fishing, how cool is it? And we hear that all across the country. So we know we're, we're, we're going down the right direction. And continuing so, and I know that Major League Fishing has a tremendous future ahead of it. But congratulations on Thank being you. here at the first World Championships and good luck this week. Thank you. For more information on Gary Klein or about the concept and the format of Major League Fishing, just go to MajorLeagueFishing.com.